Hello everyone, I'm Keely and this is Voice of a Creative and today I'm going to talk to you all about my autumn sewing plans. So I thought it would be a good idea to make a video about my autumn sewing plans. I've got a few things that I'm thinking about but I'm going to be spending the next month kind of at home, the first two weeks in isolation in preparation for my operation and then two weeks recovering. So my mind is very much on that when I'm talking about these plans. So I'm not thinking kind of super jazzy, loads of new patterns and things like that. It's more kind of comfortable things that I'm gonna be wearing at home because that's what I'm thinking about doing. Another thing, I usually find it really easy to pull some fabrics out of my stash and pull some patterns, but I actually found it a little bit tricky when I was doing that this morning. And I think it's because my PDF patterns are a complete mess and I really need to organise them and go through and think about kind of making one version and making fitting adjustments so that all of the patterns are patterns that I can literally pick up and make. And I think that in my head, I'm kind of thinking, oh no, that one doesn't quite fit me right. I would have to make a lot of adjustments and things like that. So I am a little bit confused about my sewing at the moment. I also haven't sewn at all this month. So we are on the 26th of the month and I haven't sewn this month at all. School has been incredibly busy and it's just been completely different to how it normally is. And there's a lot of running around, a lot of preparation, a lot of PPE and protection and all of those things but it's just been a lot and especially because I've had to do all of my planning for the four weeks that I'm off and that is because I'm the only GCSE art teacher in my school and if I didn't plan it the students would be stuck doing drawing worksheets for the whole time I'm off which I didn't want at all. So on to my sewing plans. So this next month and kind of moving into autumn, I've got a few different plans. I'm mainly focused on kind of long sleeve t-shirts and maybe some shirt dresses and some comfy jogging trousers. I am also going to start to make some things for Christmas and also it's my mum's birthday coming up. So I am going to make a few things for her as well. So let's get started. So one of the first things I'm going to deal with is this pile here. Now what I've been finding is I've been trying t-shirts on and finding that the necklines are a little bit too high on them and that I actually want them to be lower. And these are makes that I've kind of made over the last year or so that I'm not picking up in my general rotation because they have too high a neckline. And I know that when I have my operation, I'm gonna struggle to move my neck first of all and so pulling things over my head is going to be a bit tricky and also kind of moving forward I actually feel like a lower neckline only slightly lower is much nicer on me and I much prefer it and then it just goes nicely with scarves and I quite like to see a little bit more of my chest here so I'm going to remember that kind of moving forward with other t-shirts and make sure I lower the neckline a little bit. First up, we've got this one. Now this is the iris tee from Forget Me Not Patterns. This was my pattern test with the puff sleeve, but I've tried it on a couple of times since and I feel like the neckline's a little bit high for me. I think it's a perfectly good neckline, but I just want it to be a little lower to just make it a little bit more open on my chest. Now, luckily I've got some of the fabric still available, which was in my scraps kind of drawer. And so I'm going to just cut another neckband out cut this one off, lower it down a little bit and add a new neckband on. So super easy to do. That will be a really good alteration to make. This one is a t-shirt that I absolutely love. It's the Elliot tee from Helen's Closet and it's so cute with its matching stripes, but it is still unfinished. I have still not finished the hem of this. And I made my artist green t-shirt with the same fabric and I just finished it with grey thread and I still wear it all the time so I am just going to finish off this with some grey thread and then it will be finished and I'll be able to wear it because basically I'm not wearing it because it's not finished so I need to finish it. <laughs> Next up is this one and this is the Frankie Tee by Tilly and the Buttons in this really cute Crowns Kitty cotton jersey that I got from Like So Amazing and I absolutely love this. I think it's so cute and I can't wait to wear it more but every time I put it on the neckline is too high and it feels like it's really kind of enclosing on me. I just need to cut it wider basically and I have got some of the fabric left over so I will be able to do that and that will be really good 
to just alter that one. The last one is another iris tea by Forget Me Not Patterns and again I got this beautiful cotton jersey from Like So Amazing quite a while ago. I absolutely love this t-shirt, I've worn it so much since I made it but again the neckline is a little bit too high and I would like it to open up and be in a little bit uh, lower and again I've got some spare fabric to do that. So it shouldn't take too long to alter all those necklines but it means I will have a group of much more wearable t-shirts and I don't think that I will kind of regret making them lower moving forward. I quite, I'm quite looking forward to having a little bit more openness at my neck and it means when I'm wearing necklaces they'll be able to show off a little bit more against my skin then. The next thing I'm going to make, and I'm going to hopefully work on this today, is the Mandy Boat Tea by Tasuti Patterns. And I haven't made this before, but I've got it all printed out just here, ready to stick together. And I'm going to make it in this viscose jersey that I got from Lamazi Fabrics. Now, I had thought originally that I was going to make a dress out of this, but obviously we're moving out of summer into autumn and I think this would be a really lovely fabric. It's beautifully drapey and quite a fine viscose jersey as well, so it would be perfect for this pattern. And I just think it will make a really cute kind of bright top to wear with jeans, maybe tucked into a plain skirt and yeah, I just think it's going to be really cute. So I'm going to be making that and then I'm hoping that I will have enough fabric left over to make my mum a top out of this as well. And my mum does often watch these videos but she'll just have to be surprised by the top that I make her. I think she'll really like this as well. Next up I'm going to make a t-shirt out of this fabric. Now this is a fabric that a couple of years ago I was gifted by Minerva Crafts to make a dress for their blog but I've had this bit left over since then and it's a beautiful quality viscose jersey and I've decided I'm going to make the plantain tea by Deer in Doe. Now I absolutely love that pattern and I retried on a plantain tea earlier today when I was trying on all my t-shirts and I'm like I thought why haven't I made this pattern more? It fits me really well, it's got a lovely neckline so I am going to make another one out of this and I absolutely love viscose jersey t-shirts. I layer them on top of a vest top quite a lot and then you can always wear a cardigan over the top to keep you nice and warm. But I'm hoping to make like a longer sleeve version of that so it will be great for in the autumn and winter. Next up I've got two plain viscose jerseys and I am planning to make the ebony tee by Closet Core Patterns. I'm also really interested in the dress version so once I've made the top version I might make the dress version and then cinch it in with a waist tie. I will pop in a picture of the pattern so you can see. Now this has a lower scoop neckline, it comes in a raglan sleeve and a normal t-shirt sleeve as well and has the dress hack and the top hack and a tamlin from Sewn on the Tine is absolutely loving this pattern at the moment and she looks so cute in all of her versions and it's just made me think that actually when I'm wanting something to kind of dress up in maybe to wear with skinny jeans or tucked into a skirt or just kind of around the house as I will be for the next month I think this is a really lovely one rather than wearing something that's more fitted all over I will be able to relax around the house in this but still feel like I'm kind of dressed up and also I'm thinking I could make a short sleeve version as well as a longer sleeve version around the house in the autumn winter even coming into the spring I often do wear three quarter and long sleeves just so I don't have to wear a second layer so hopefully this will be a really good pattern so I've got this viscose jersey here now I can't quite remember where I got this from. A lot of my plain fabrics, I can't ever remember where I got them from. I'm not sure why, I just don't have the same kind of attraction. I need to like pin like a label to them so I know where I got them from as they come in. But I've got this, I think it's just a meter, this beautiful burgundy color and hopefully going to get a top out of it. If not, I will just narrow it in just a little bit. But I think that will make a really cute addition and then I will be able to wear it just with jeans and cardigan and I think that will look really cute. And then the same with this one. So this is a beautiful kind of teal green colour. And again, I'm going to make the ebony tea. This one is feels a little bit colder, slightly more stretchy. But again, I think it'll make a really beautiful addition. And I love this colour on me. I think it just really goes with me. <laughs> and also I love it because it's so bright and happy. 
Next up, we've got two kind of essential basic makes, which are the Hudson Pants by True Bias. Now, I have made these lots and lots of times, but because I wear them a lot, like every day after work, I wear them, and on weekends when I'm at home, they are wearing out, and they do wear out, and that's just because I wear them and wash them so much. So I am going to make another two pairs to add to my collection and then it means I can rotate them in once the others wear out. So firstly I'm going to use this navy sweatshirting so it's got a slight fleece on the other side and this will make a really lovely cosy jogging trousers to wear around the house and through the winter and especially when I'm recovering from my operation as well. So navy jogging trousers exciting <laughs> and the next ones are these i've already got two pairs out of this fabric but i am going to make a final pair that i'll probably use the rest of this fabric up again it's a sweatshirting it's like a french terry with a fleece on the other side and this one's got a slight marl to it and my other pairs look really great in this and so i'm just going to make some more of that and it goes with all my tops as well which i really like Continuing on the cosy theme, I have been wearing a Blackwood cardigan which I made with a grey rib knit and I've been wearing it quite a lot because it's super cosy to wear around the house and I actually hacked it so that the neckband is like three times the neckband that's provided with the pattern so it kind of wraps around and it's super cosy and I've kind of been feeling the chill the last few days the weather's really turned in the UK and I think we're kind of starting the kind of autumn winter weather so I want to make another super cozy cardigan I'm going to make the Blackwood cardigan which is by Helen's Closet and I'm going to make it out of this really lovely knit which is from Sew Me Sunshine now I picked this up a little while ago I think but I really love it. It's super soft and cosy. It's going to make a really lovely cardigan and hopefully it won't be too heavy because it's not light not, not it's not super lightweight, but it's light enough that it will be lovely over a t-shirt and things like that. So I will get so much wear out of that. So I'm going to make that so I can be nice and cosy. And last of all, out of these sewing plans, is I am going to make another Gilbert top. So I've got a lot of wear out of my Gilbert top so far. This is by Helen's Closet. And I have already made a dress hack version and have another one on the go. But I thought a plain tie front shirt would be really cute. And especially maybe when I'm coming home from hospital, this might be good because I can just slip it on and button it up rather than having to pull something over my head after my operation. So I am constantly kind of thinking about that but I also just love this colour it's so beautiful and what I'm hoping to do is make a matching skirt to go with it so I can be totally bright teal I think that would be really lovely so I'm going to make it out of this and I got some buttons from Ethel and Joan which I will just grab to show you so I got two lots so I got these so they are white with a little teal speckle and I also got these, which are like a jelly with a, like a cr cut crystal kind of design. So I was thinking these white and speckled buttons would go so, so well with this. I think they would look really, really cute. So I think I might match those with that. I mean, I have got um, eight of these buttons and this will only take three. But then I've got the other buttons to use on something else later on. I have also sent away for some patterns to be printed by net printer and I've got lots of other patterns in my stash and I have got the kind of next two weeks at home and then I'm recovering but it says that you should be up and on your feet within a week so I might end up having some sewing time although I'm not going to kind of push myself to do that if I need to kind of chill and relax and play games and watch tv then that's what and that's what my body tells me to do then that's what I will do or I might um follow Sam, Purple Sewing Cloud's example, and do some planning while sat on the sofa and relaxing. And I would really love to get into doing some digital drawing with that as well. So I might even take some inspiration from her and do that in my resting time as well. 
but I'm sure I will get some other things made in this time because once I start sewing I kind of get the bug and just sew and sew and sew. It is going to be a little difficult to get back into it today because I haven't sewn in 26 days which is a long time not to be sewing after sewing so much over the summer but I'm really looking forward to getting back into it and I'm so glad now that I've got a few weekends and some time in the week to get on with some sewing. The last thing I just wanted to show you because I would like your pattern suggestions is the Specky Seamstress, Laura, who also has a YouTube channel, which go and check her out. She does some fantastic content and is, has got like endless inspiration for different ideas for content. I don't know how she finds the time to do it, but she is so enthusiastic about sewing. She has started her own business making bias binding and it has these really cute like words and quotes and things on it. And she's actually got a crowdfunding page set up to um, do this. Now, she sent me this as a sample, it, so it's gifted, so I can use it in a make. And I'm trying to think about what make I could make <laughs> that could show off this beautiful bias binding. So this one is the Sewing Appreciation Society. And I don't know how much I've got, but I could just use it for a neckline or something like that. But I would like to use this. So if there are any pattern suggestions that you've got that you will think could be finished really well with bias binding, then please comment them down below because I would love to use this and really show it off to really support Laura with her new business. It's so exciting that she has started a sewing business. So that's everything for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please press the thumbs up and subscribe if you want to hear more from me. Goodbye.